the 35 second mark. The uh, Soyuz booster now on internal power. The uh, first umbilical has now been retracted. When the second umbilical retracts, that will initiate the launch sequence. The engine starts sequencing. 13 seconds until launch. The launch command has been issued. There goes the second umbilical. The engine start sequence has been initiated. We have engine start. Turbo pumps now coming up to flight speed. Now at maximum thrust. Now ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of the 76th Progress Resupply Craft heading to the express lane to the International Space Station. Good roll, pitch, and yaw program are in. Progress heading uh, out to the northeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to catch up to the International Space Station. The uh, station now passing directly over the Baikonur Cosmodrome. All vehicle parameters reported to be stable from the blockhouse in Baikonur. Good pressure reported in the engine chambers. Yaw, pitch and roll, all nominal, according to the launch conductor at Baikonur. Liftoff occurred right on time at 9.26.22 a.m. Central Time, 7.26.22 p.m. in Baikonur. One minute, 27 seconds into the flight, everything reported uh, proceeding normally. This view now from a camera on the upper stage of the uh, Soyuz 2.1A booster. We're about 10 seconds away from uh, booster shutdown and first stage separation. And there are the booster the boosters now separated. Structural parameter parameters continue to be normal. The uh, Soyuz uh, now being uh, thrust towards its preliminary orbit for the Progress resupply craft on the power of the second stage engines. Two minutes, 50 seconds into the flight, everything proceeding in great fashion so far. No issues reported from the blockhouse in Baikonur. The vehicle reported to be stable. And there is the uh, jettisoning of the launch shroud. Great view from the upper stage camera on the Soyuz 2.1A booster. The next uh, milestone will be second stage shutdown at the 4 minute 37 second mark, about one minute from now. This now animation uh, being generated from the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov as we pass the four minute mark into the flight.
The uh, second stage uh, continues uh, to uh, burn in nominal fashion at the four and a half minute mark into the flight. We uh, are standing by now for second stage shutdown and separation. And second stage shutdown is confirmed and separation. And the third stage is up and running. The uh, Progress uh, resupply ship now uh, heading towards its preliminary orbit on the singular power of the third stage engine. Five minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Once again, this view from uh, this uh, view from a, a camera on the upper stage of uh, the Soyuz, uh, the third stage engine up and running in good shape at the six minute mark into the flight. We're about two minutes and 45 seconds away from uh, the progress entering its preliminary orbit. Six and a half minutes into the flight, everything proceeding on track. Good uh, engine performance from the third stage of the Soyuz booster. We are about uh, two minutes away from the completion of uh, the Progress's journey to its preliminary orbit. The International Space Station is now in front of the Progress. At the time of uh, third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation, the station and its five residents will be about 1,100 miles ahead of Progress. The vehicle reported to be rock steady and stable as it continues its climb uphill at the seven and a half minute mark into the flight. The reports uh, from the blockhouse in Baikonur continue to be good, good uh, structural uh, stability good orbital parameters so far. Having passed the eight minute mark into the flight, uh, the uh, Soyuz booster traveling almost 15,000 miles an hour, 125 miles in altitude, 860 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Eight and a half minutes into the flight, just a few seconds away from third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation. Third stage shutdown confirmed and spacecraft separation confirmed right on time. Now standing by for uh, solar array deployment. And the command uh, to deploy the arrays uh, having been issued and you can see them having been deployed. 
Navigational antennas now deployed. All uh, appendages, as they are called, have been deployed. The solar rays, the navigational antennas, the external television camera. So the progress uh, is now in its preliminary orbit, having completed a flawless climb to orbit following an on-time launch from Site 31 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan.